Sure. Hey everyone and welcome back to some more of Watch Dogs Legion. So last time I was playing as this MI agent and basically started the game. Uh, that was part one, and I ended at the point where we get to actually choose a character. And there's this one mission we need to do. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist now. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive, I like it. Auto drive now disabled. Oh shit, am I going the wrong way? I might be. One way streets, kick W. Holy poop. catch this guy I don't know why exactly how do I get out uh, show controls was that the plan well all right I'll tell you something about this game so, Watch Dogs 1 when I play it. Auto drive now enabled. When I played Watch Dogs 1, uh, the game was running just fine on my laptop, my 640 GDX laptop. Uh, but, Do I like need to mark that location or something? Possibly, right? Set waypoint, there we go. Yeah, so I'll let the car just drive me to that point and hopefully it works, right? There we go. One of these places in the Embankment, crossing station, shops, Piccadilly Circus. It's hard to drive even walking. Like as you guys can see, on 2K, I'm getting like 40 frames right now, so... This used to happen all the time, back in Watch Dogs 1, when... Ever I used to be in the car, the car mechanics were so bad that... You actually used to get lower frames when you're on the car. Compared to... Auto drive now disabled. All right. 
Not gonna lie. I need to work on my driving. It did say I failed my driving lessons a few times, so maybe I'm not so good at driving. Maybe different characters have different difficulty of driving different vehicles, I guess, right? I'm not sure. The old fortune. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You will have to do the manual override. A manual override to the secret entrance? If I get to hack some nodes later, I'm gonna geek out. Alright, I think I got this. I'll see you downstairs later then. Look at that. Abraka fucking Dabra. Well, driving, I need to work on that part, but other than that, I think I'm doing just fine in this game so far. Power up the safe house. Oi, anyone here? Where the lights are? Why do you sound like that? From the Buccaneer, this is the bug. Hello, resistors. It's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is the... Interesting. Do I want to stop and hear all of that? Fuck no. Will that help me? Probably. Safe house. Wow. Imagine. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favorite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Why can't I, like, listen to it while moving around? Why is that not a thing? You know? Wi-Fi spot. Well, Rockstar, it's time to grind and actually be useful for your team. is London calling. You're here with me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. In today's world, we've all had to get used to... No dead sec registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. No, 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 not that. Uh, uh, um, uh, Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley. Dead sex definitely not stolen. Highly advanced AI assistant. And it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the Dead Set Network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? 
I mean, yeah. Coming up today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's... Tap on what I missed. All right, listen up. This is getting weird as I progress into the game. All right, not gonna lie. It is getting more and more weird. Activate Bagley servos. I just don't get it why Welcome back to the we can't upload. listen to this. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated disaster. True, true, true. Oh yeah, Watch Dogs 2 was in Chicago. This is London. It. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no, terrorist group DeadSec responsible for deadly bombings in London, Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Um, all good question, but if DeadSec didn't do the bombings, who did? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified and only at zero day was involved. I believe this zero day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Mask. Nice. Well, EU is becoming cooler than an A, not gonna lie. <laughs> Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Bagley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Holy shit. How did you get out? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target from the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. These days, dead sex about as well loved as a French football team. This shit is so cool, but, well, it's kind of a massive risk. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. True. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. Mm -hmm. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Who am I kidding? Yeah. Let's do it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. Acquire your equipment. Alright, so every time I switch from mouse to keyboard, there's like a 1 to 2 seconds audio delay. Alright, tech upgrades. Tech points can be found throughout London. Use them to purchase tech upgrades. Gadgets and weapons. Purchase tech in the tech menu and obtain and upgrade gadgets, weapons and hacks. To change an operative's weapon or gadget, use the edit function in the team menu. Purchase tech is available to all operatives. Ah, I see how it works. It's a team thingy. Alright. 
stealth based spider bot capable of performing non lethal takedowns. AR camouflage to run to the wearer invisible and break line of sight. Chase drones can be hijacked. Detect pistol. Increase magazine capacity. Electro shock trap. Alright, so I guess every person needs to have like some sort of hacks and weapons, I'm guessing. So yeah, um, I think as this guy, AR cloak makes more sense. Ooh, radio deck tech. Let's go, baby. Actually, this wasn't too bad as well. Berlin fans, I guess. I don't even know what that flag is. We right. have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. Glasses in a wear. that shit. Nah, I like it the way it is, to be honest with you. Yeah, the pandemic is going on. We all need to wear masks. Come on now, game. You are... You have got to be kidding me. We all need masks, and everyone knows we need masks. Alright? Um, the developers at Ubisoft were piehead. They predicted the pandemic was going to happen, and... So they all, they got everyone masks in this game. It's uh, going to be easy. One sec. Oh, bands. Man, some of these are trash. Like, this one works. Looks like something a rock star would want to wear, you know? I mean, fucking. Are you going to fucking school? Oh, this looks lit, though. Not gonna lie. I like his jacket already. Uh, maybe pants can change and. That works too, I guess. Alright, let's just start simple and go with this guy.
You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. All right. So basically, this is the start of the game. Just like that. Gotcha. That's how you attack. I'm guessing B is for dodge. Find the weak points. All right, we back off and then we Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Nice one. Ooh. Ooh, I got it. Couldn't have done that better myself. Let's go, baby. I guess we couldn't die in the training, otherwise I would have died for sure. This bitch was strong, not gonna lie. <sighs> Alright, exit the safe house. Before I do... Hello and this. welcome to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. Now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the Optic. All right. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant! I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damn. Wait, do you wanna do it like this? I mean, I look to too much of an army to be honest with you for a photo right now all right I need to I really do need to upgrade my wardrobe a little bit I guess I look like an army not gonna lie Back, not really. I want to get the get the pants. Oh, I already have a few things. Do we 
see this folks, I guess. Let's go with this. Shoes. Let's go with these, I guess. Nah, we can skip that one for now. Alright, a little bit better. Let's be honest. Alright, let's go, baby. Get out of here. Basically, I just copied this bitch. Oh well. If I didn't realize it, then it's not my fault. Oh, that's how you open the gadgets. Nice. Episode number two. We did restart Dead Sec. We are gonna continue with the main mission, story mission, but not right now. Okay, cool. I have no idea what I'm doing. Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Totally right. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. So. We have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? All right, yeah, that doesn't sound scary at all. Um, let's do it. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Squad goals. Light as fuck. Right, so unfortunately, guys, this will be ending the video. We restarted Dead Sec. Uh, I am going to continue on from this point, and we're going to see what else the game has in store for us. So, with that said, see you in the next one. Bye.